the tale of a revered shrine built over a thousand years ago in the Iraqi city of Samarra, the final resting place of two Shia Imams. When its Golden Dome was bombed and destroyed in 2006, it led to an almost all-out civil war. Rebuilding it, though, is a different story. Over 100 Iraqi workers from different sects have come together to rebuild the same shrine that almost divided them. Sunni Shias, Arab and Kurds all united. Yaqub, a Sunni from Samarra, works here as a goldsmith. There's no sectarian division and work is going well. We are all brothers. May Allah curse all those who adopt sectarianism or worked for it. Ali came all the way from southern Iraq. He says all Iraqis were hurt. When the bombing happened, people stood together. We won't let the terrorists divide us. At lunch, everyone sits together. They say this is a mini Iraq. Iraqis live in harmony. Each person at this table is from a different province. This man in front of me is from Samarra. This man on my right is from Diyala. And I'm from Diwaniye. The government has terminated a contract for a Turkish company, saying it breached its terms. Instead, it relied on Iraqi hands. The project's chief engineer says work started on April 2008 and is on track. The dome is finished and we will start coating it with gold in less than a month's time. We expect to finish all the work within a year and a half or two years. And despite ongoing work, pilgrims come from across the country and even from abroad. Outside the shrine, security forces are everywhere and so are signs rejecting sectarianism. Thousands of Iraqis have been killed in the sectarian violence that followed the bombing of Al Askeri shrine. Work is not expected to finish within two years. Many here say rebuilding the shrine has created a sense of unity. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera, Samarra.